Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, if you're a new viewer, all of our episodes are now uploaded to Twitch and YouTube. You can check us out at any point. We do do a bunch of reruns during the uh, week and on the weekends uh, to try to catch up. Um, if you were watching the last two episodes, that is a, uh, a prequel to this episode. Uh, we ran both the entrance to uh, uh, Emmerich's Hold and the, the investigation of the heist. We will be taking on the heist tonight. Um, if, you're, um, if you're new to the show, we also uh, would hope that you would uh, appreciate us enough to subscribe through um, Twitch Prime. Uh, if you're a Twi uh, Prime, Amazon Prime member, you can subscribe for free to one show of your choice on Twitch and it will put a little bit of wind in our sails. Uh, lastly, we'd like to thank a few people tonight for their assistance in helping us make our show better. Thanks to Axon Shield for their amazing combat risers. Uh, thanks to Dwarven Forge for their amazing dungeon terrain. And thanks to Sirenscape, as you can hear right now, for their awesome soundscapes. So with that, let's go ahead and meet the players and their characters. Mike, who are you playing today? I am Michael. I am playing Craig from uh, Clan Rumbletide. He is a wizard. Yeah. And I know he lives. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron? Play him when you're next. Uh, I'm playing Visago, the tiefling bard, uh, who also has plot armor, so it should be good. He does live. Yeah. He lives. Uh oh. And? Plot armor party. Uh, my name is Howard, <laughs> and I just realized a flaw, a critical flaw in my character in that he is not tied to any other part of the story. <laughs> I'm playing a level three monk named Jeffrew McHenry Thomas McAllister O'Shuligan. And he has bagpipes. And he's got bagpipes. Oh. Yeah. Dick's been retconned out <laughs> attractively. <laughs> so let's, um, let's recap where we left off two weeks ago. Um, so two weeks ago, you guys did a little uh, recon on um, a estate owned by Volgrim the Mighty. He is a fire giant pirate lord of the uh, Pirate Isles. Um, you guys know that pirate lords are the basically a council of, of pirate captains who command multiple ships in a fleet that um, work together to kind of protect each other's interests. Um, you guys were uh, hired by, well, not really hired. <coughs> you guys were offered a job to save uh, Visago's, um, Visago's former mentor, former mentor, current mentor, fantastic mentor, um, and and it was revealed that he had manipulated the Yuan T all along and was trying to get into Volgrim the Mighty's vault to, to steal a few things. So um, what you guys are looking for uh, in Volgrim's vault is the horn of the mermaid, or of the merfolk, um, and then uh, Thevin, um, the, uh, the bard mentor of Vizago, Former. is looking for a uh, set of armor called the Armor of the Eel, which he uh, had his eyes on before Volgrim got it first. Um, so last session, um, you guys did some uh, landscaping around Volgrim's estate. <laughs> yeah, we did. That went really well. Um, Lovely You, you gave yeah. um, a wood elf um, a, somewhat of a complex, because <laughs> he thought he was keeping the estate fairly well. He was not. He um, also respected Jamaican culture. You met a gnome. We did not respect <laughs> I think we did. I think I, it was very respectful. I did a lot of prep work for that accent. You met a gnome by the name of Nickus Geerguts, who uh, lives on Emmerich's Hold mm -hmm. and does um, some work for pirate captains. Um, he is a machine smith, um, blessed by Gond, um, and he has plans for the vault. Um, he gave you a secret backdoor code. Yep, I wrote it down ball. because we might forget it. Uh, so Aaron, did you want to reveal the secret code? One, two, three, 
Oh, hang on, I gotta write this okay. down. Well, hold on, hold on, let me catch up. One, two, four. I hope you got all that because it's never being said again. Oh, I, I might have to go to the tape. <laughs> Gonna have to check the tapes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Nickus basically uh, hated being uh, haggled with after the work was done, so he agreed to give you that. He also had uh, plans for these uh, long cylinders um, that were capped at one end and could possibly fire heavy objects for a long, uh, a long ways. Um, so you guys were fairly interested in that as well. Um, uh, you also explored the sewers um, and found out that the sewers are not super duper safe, um, but you were able to make your way around them fairly easily. Um, and just as a reminder, you came across a uh, an odiug and a gelatinous cube. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they met each other. Yeah. They met each other, and the odiug retreated. Um, so, with that, uh, you guys are getting close to. Uh, you had a couple of days to plan out the heist. Um, you are now basically coming to the point where you can uh, would need to do that right now um, in order to kind of get it done in time. Um, you have a, in addition to you three, you have a Yuan-Ti pureblood by the name of Sakesh who is with you. She is a great locksmith. Um, She's not, not. She can pick a lock like no one's business unless it's magical, in, in which case she cannot open it. Um, which seems like a downside to a thief in a magical setting. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, I mean, it really has something to do with what she rolled when she tried to do that. Mm, um, and then that. you have Thaven, who is a elven bard. Seven? Seven. Yeah, he's got six brothers and sisters, right? Is that... so, um, so, you you know, Thaven uh, is... is Willing to help in whatever way he can, um, and what? How would you like to do this? This heist. Uh, we d also got a guard uniform, right? You did pick up a guard uniform, yes. So you have a guard uniform, and we know the we know a bit Without about the crew. On. <laughs> on yeah, and we know a bit about the crew at night because we were interviewing yeah. them too. You know that the night crew is so the night crew has fewer guards, and they have a half orc commander of the guard mm -hmm. um, and then there are fewer servants on site at night as well um, there is also an uh, azer um, which is a dwarf from the fire plane who's uh, the ground who's the sen no, yeah so. yeah um, mike um why don't you have craig make a Intelligence check with your proficiency bonus. I don't know exactly what those would fall under, but you do have your proficiency bonus. Ten. Ten. Okay. So. I'm doing great. Already. As you're studying the um, plans <coughs> for mm -hmm. the mansion, because you, because uh, Craig had gotten these plans before you were playing Craig, um, you notice that there is a fault line that is near the. Um, the vault. Okay. A fault near the vault. A fault near the vault. Um, and you feel like um, either an entrance or an exit from there would be fairly easy. Um, it would still take some doing, but um, the the vault is surrounded by quite a bit of stone before it gets into uh, the sewers. Mm. Um, but as you as represented by the gap in. The, yeah. the stones there. And how, like, and I was going to ask you, how far, how close is the fault to the sewer? Um, it looks like the sewer wall was built, and so all you would have to do is penetrate the sewer wall and then do some penetration on the other side of the vault to get into the vault. We'd have okay. a double penetrate, yeah. 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 DP. Do a little From DP. Both sides. Yeah. Just and then way. high five up top. Yeah, up top. I'm sorry. This is a family show, Howard. Family show. If any families know what that is, <laughs> you're my you're family could be watching. <laughs> so anyway, sorry kids. Um, 
You have the vault code. You got some questions to answer. Um, you have. Why do they like Deadpool so much? I love it. It's a great show. <laughs> great movie. Great they comic. actually do love Deadpool. There you go. Um, you have you have the vault codes. You also have a guard uniform, and you have um, maybe a way out of the vault should mm. you need it. Okay. Right. So what do you want to do? So we could go back in through the sewers because we know the way up. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we could have one person as a guard. Mm-hmm. Do we want to have one person as a guard go in, uh, get into the vault, yeah. while the others are basically trying to break in from the exit? I mean, that does sound like splitting the party, and that seems like a good idea. I mean, it's, it's always, always a good historically, idea. Historically. You know historically. what? I'll just go on my own, because nothing bad could happen to me. That's true. It's true. You're a player character. You or plot armor. do we all want to go in through the vault and have, oh, I don't know, one of the NPCs we don't like try to go in through the main gate with the wrong who, code? No, oh, I mean, that you, could be possible. Who? There's... There's NPCs you don't like? No. I, I don't know. What are you, Maybe, are you talking about? I like them. I mean, like all. Yeah, I like them too. If you're yeah. talking about Sakash, she is there to monitor that you're on the level. So monitoring mm. that you're on the level. Uh, well, if she monitors like she picks locks, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if she goes and tries to unlock the door with the wrong code that we give her. Yeah. I mean, you... She, I don't know that she would necessarily be open to that, but you can definitely Listen, ask. Listen, Visago is a trustworthy. Be always, always trustworthy. trustworthy bard. It's bard. true. Yeah. It's true. I've, it's in the logo. Yeah. So, I mean, how do you do? How do you do it? So, you can, can you can try to convince the cash to to go through with that plan. Well, if we the, need to know how many guards are going to be near. The other problem is, do we know what happens when you enter in the wrong code? Because if we, if it just sets off an alarm, that doesn't help anybody. Well, we don't know if it's going to set off an alarm if you set up the right code. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Um, so yeah. I know what we'll do. We'll sneak into the fire giant's room, cut out his eye, and use that. Oh, yeah. So like, in case they've got one of those retinal scans. Retinal Like yep. this, though. Not, yeah. not like right. this. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> here's the fire giant's eyeball. <laughs> Hold it up. As big as an orc's head. Or even better, we cut off his eyeball, and then we go, oh, wait, we're the new pirate lord, and we just stop there. And then, you yeah, know, this is a, yeah, this is our yeah. vault. Oh. This is our vault. And then in the next movie, and then we get everything. he's going to try to steal from us. <laughs> well, then we actually keep that. Well, then, and then in the next movie, he gets a new eyeball? Yeah. Like, almost immediately. Immediately. Um... So yeah, what we could do is, um, I don't know if I would trust Sir Cash to go in um, by herself. Uh, I'm not saying anything about her abilities. She kind of sucks, though. <laughs> well, maybe we have her make the exit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think yeah. we send her into the sewers to make the exit. Okay. David might be a good one to put in the uniform. What? Because other than me, he's probably class? the best. He's a, he's a bard. He's a bard like me. He's a bard. He's a... He's a Bard with a particular college towards deception. Yeah. Oh well, then he's I have a, wearing a guard uniform. <laughs> I'm, I'm trained in deception. Oh yeah? yeah. Yeah. And I have a plus one charisma. So. Wow. I mean. That's impressive. Yeah. Pretty. I that's mean, pretty that's good. a three. Basically, handmade for this role. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Definitely not to Was be punching Taylor, things. Tailor or... made. <laughs> you know, if I had rolled better, <laughs> <laughs> Chad saw my role. Yeah. Best, uh, um, best excuse in D and D. So Sakesh so is going to be helping make the the hole. The hole yes. Okay. Um, Thaven <coughs> says I'm happy to to go through the um, the sewers and make my way into the compound that way. That sounds good. Does anybody want to help me out in case I will go because I can be invisible. So I can at least watch his back. Well, okay. So, just to clarify. So what I'm thinking is we have one group coming in to the sewers on this side of the door that we know mm-hmm. about to make an entrance. Mm-hmm. And then one group going in towards the vault. That yep. seems like a okay. fairly decent plan. I do not have dark vision, but I can hide pretty well. You can hide pretty well. So, if we do that, I would probably have you come in to get to the vault, because 
I would like to have you for combat if it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. And then combat. Yeah, yeah. It could I'm happen. I'm just a bagpipe player. Mm. Wait, hold on. You want to go ahead and roll your uh, bluff check for me? <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't I think you can bluff him because he's seeing you fight. <laughs> Before I, you were you. Right. Before that's you right. were you. That's right. I made you a champion, champion, kid. Go beat. Champion. Go, go put on a sweatsuit. Run up some stairs. Come back and tell me that you're. All back right. Back. All right. All right. I'll make you go through so a rocky montage. So we need the we need the fire giant's eye, and we nope. need to go get the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Never. Are you, are you rocket raccoon? The eye of the fire giant. <laughs> I'm gonna need his leg. <laughs> That's still my favorite scene. Um, how? Oh, I'm getting that iron. How are you getting through the the wall? Well, you would go through because we have the sewer entrance into the <clears throat> compound. Um, I'm, I seem to remember um, a gnome that makes cannons. Mm. Yeah, he said the cannons very, were off limit though. Very. But is the black powder? Very expensive cannon. What, what? I mean, the propellant for yeah. these cannons. I mean, to make yeah, something go. Yeah, black powder's not super expensive. Um, the cannons are super expensive just because of their rarity. So we have them get some black powder and fill up that hole, and then show sure. an alchemist cool. fire, and kaboom. I'm sure that'll through. be fine. Yeah, I'm not going to be in there. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> it also <laughs> won't make any noise. It's okay. Jeffrey will hold the barrel because we know that he's safe. I will hold the barrel. Yeah. That seems fine. So you, yeah. st you stand over by the wall, <laughs> yeah. and then Mazago is going to Wait, has it been leaking this yeah. time? <laughs> Ooh. I'm just running back and forth, and like, this spark is <laughs> One too many bagpipe recitals. That's, uh, sorry, kid. Hold this, hold this pipe. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we go through the sewers. So we are going to go through the sewers, and then the time where it splits is one person, one group's going to stay here to try and get through the wall, and the other group's going to continue on because we know it goes into the grounds because we did that mm -hmm. last time, right? You mm -hmm. did. Yep. So we'll go up that way because it's better than walking through the gate. Yeah. So we can help load this up. Yep. And then they just wait for our signal, and then they yep. make it go kaboom. Yep. And then we all run out. What's the signal? Are you going to do a? We knock a, on the wall and say, "Hey, throw the damn fire." In just a moment. <laughs> I mean, all right, crazy, crazy idea. And it might just be me because I'm a little out of it. But why don't we just, so how weak is this wall? Um, it, so the strength of the vault mm -hmm. or the perception of the strength of the vault mm -hmm. is the bedrock around it. Mm -hmm. So it is a stone wall. Mm -hmm that is built around this bedrock and they what they didn't know is that there is a large pocket of yeah. no stone mm -hmm. um so if you were to use black powder mm -hmm. or maybe some corrosive material corrosive material probably take a lot longer mm -hmm. maybe if you got a black dragon you mm -hmm. could we um, should go get a black dragon I know where there is one. <laughs> we would not need any of the things in this vault if we could just get a black dragon. <laughs> um, you could penetrate the the vault wall with the, with the black powder. So, is the smarter plan just to <clears throat> blow this wall and just go through there and not sneak through the base to get into the vault? I mean, that's wasting the codes, but. Well, no, because the code is for the door, right, to mm -hmm. to the vault. Oh, I see. So it's to the vault. I thought there was this was right outside the vault, and then you need the code to get inside. But this is just straight in. Yeah, this is the I door mean, to the vault. So we could sneak to this and put in the code, mm -hmm. or we could break in there, or we could do both because separating the party never leads to calamity. See, or you could blow your way out of the vault too. Oh yeah, if we could do that. But if we're gonna blow our way which, out, why why won't we just blow our way in? Vizago knows how the story ends. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, clearly that's what you did. Yeah, that's clearly <laughs> what I. That's not what I did. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't just use this cantrip called Mold Earth and just tunnel. We could do that. Cantrip for who, though? It's a wizard. Oh. Yeah. How much? It's can five you do feet. The it's, it's, uh, it it's says you can choose a portion of dirt or stone that you can see within range within, if it's within a five foot cube. 
So, it, well, it's, yeah, it's the loose earth. You can instantly excavate it with an action and wow. then move it five feet away. Loose earth isn't the yeah. same as... He can excavate it with his hand. Mm -hmm. I can open doors with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's or you can make it, now. like, say things. Oh. Yeah. Or make the, do yeah. the dirt talk with your you hand. You create images or patterns. Go back. <laughs> Go away. So, what do you guys want to do? So, um, would it be, let's see, what is there, an, is there an engineering or something similar to that? What I have been using yeah. is, that's what uh, Craig got with his, um, Just his dwarf ability. He got his proficiency bonus to his intelligence check because he's a dwarf and he knows about. Okay. Would it just be a stone, straight stone intelligence stone. check? It would be then? straight intelligence okay. for you, or if you want Craig's I wanted... assistance on it, um, Craig can make, oh he God. can add his proficiency bonus to it. Yeah. Sure. Like, uh, I think it's a dwarf thing. Because, yeah, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to split up, I don't want to split up the group just to for not no use reason. this entrance. Yeah, right, if we can just get in through there, we should just get in through there. Mm -hmm. Because that, yeah. <laughs> it's intelligence history check. Oh, it's history? history. Uh -huh. Are you trained in history? I am trained in history. Okay, well, if you want Craig's help, he can um, he can give you advantage on that. I get double proficiency bonus, and I have prof and I have my proficiency. So your history is probably better than mine. Nine. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll give you advantage then. Yeah. All right. So natural twenty nine. What do you want to know? Um, but there the we can just proper over. way to break that and make it an exit for a small or medium size or a medium sized creature to squeeze through. Yeah, you know that. Um, you know that if you packed a charge there of black powder, and you know how much black powder you would need, mm -hmm. um, would cause a hole. Um, <coughs> in both the sewer wall and the vault uh, wall. Okay. Enough that a, a medium creature might need to squeeze uh, if things didn't go exactly the way you wanted it, or a small creature could just go in and out. Okay. So, yeah. I think, I think How the are we going to cover the noise? I, I silence? Oh, yeah, we could do silence. What? That's ridiculous. That's a great idea. Yeah, actually, it's <laughs> that's a great just idea. Let's use silence <laughs> and then so just blow our way into the We're still going to have the uh, rumble. Yeah, there, yeah. Is, there is going to be what an earthquake. appears to be an earthquake. Yeah. But there's not going to be the loud boom right. associated to the one spot. So, right. so that's pretty good. You are also in a world where black powder is not commonly used. So yeah. a small explosion of sound is going to, it's more of, what the hell was that? Oh, sure. Then, oh my god, there was a bomb down in the sewers. Yeah, but we still could minimize the amount of yeah. curiosity. Yeah. Sure. Which I think is what we should do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bullshitting your way through life is starting to work. Okay. Um, if we set up we set up the charge, okay. we get it ready to go. Okay. And then we had a known deceptionist like Thaven. Okay up top, giving a demonstration of his new and powerful god. Okay. But and at we, night when everybody's asleep? Or during the, what does it matter if we're going to blow a hole in the wall anyways? <laughs> I guess I just want less guards to chase us. Or But if, but if they're focused on a com commotion upstairs and then he summons a boom, I don't think their first reaction is going to be like, oh, let's go check the vault. And then Which while he's doing that, we can alarm spell squeeze in there. I mean, there could be an alarm spell in there. But, I don't know. It's that or we take the chance sneaking through the house we have. It. We have no idea what's in the house either. It's true. Which way do the sewers flow? Like, uh, Well, it's an island. No, but like, does it all flow away from the house? Or uh, is anything flowing past here that we can maybe redirect into into, the, into vault. the vault. Yeah, you could do that. That way, when we get out, we can have like a dam or something that 
redirects the sewer into there. So when they try to come in, now there's a sewer gushing into there. And it's true. And if, if we do it. would be harder to, for them to follow us. And if we do it like that, um, when we leave, if we do that, there's a chance they might think the sewer busted, in busted the... and that's what caused the hole. Yeah. I like that. I, I like that plan. I think that might be the plan. All right. How does so, everyone else feel about it? <clears throat> well, so that's I just I, require at least <laughs> I just came one up trip with into it. the sewers, correct? Yep. Are yeah. you going to make multiple trips into the sewers? Uh, no. no, we're going to bring trip. in the, we're all going to go down with the black powder. Ex yeah. Except we're going to leave Thaven, and Thaven's going to be our distraction up top, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is, I have... And you're not Do we know? taking anyone to back Thaven up. Well, he's a crazy person on the street, spouting gospel. Okay. He's not actually, as far as the heist goes, he's not really doing anything other than giving a distraction in which, so that way when the boom goes off, instead of going, oh, what the fuck was that? They might go like, holy shit, did you see that crazy guy? You said there's going to be a boom, then the boom happens? <laughs> and then that's their point of interest. Okay. And then worst case scenario, whatever, the vault, the sewer happened to come in at the end, and they think that's what it is, and they're like, whatever, that guy's crazy. But um, So we know the vault here, and we have the blue power plant, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, do we know where this is up ground? Uh, it's, well, so the vault is directly below the manor. Mm -hmm. um, and the manor itself is is very sizable. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a small fort, fortress. Yeah. Um, so it would, the bedrock that you're breaking through would be part of the support structure for the manor. I mean, okay. not directly but like it, it's not directly the, because there is a hole there the but. manor would be there yeah so from say because we have the blueprints right so yeah. from about this point to the street how far is that um that would probably be because there's a sizable grounds yeah. that would probably be uh 400 500 feet 400 500 feet from the from the street yeah okay so we need to come up with a signal that we can send to him. Because it's too far out from the message. Because if he's, if he's out babbling there, <laughs> we might want to try and time it. I mean, if we can't, we can't. But if we have something, that would be nice to do. Mm. Um, there's other sewer entrances around here, right? From How far is message? Message is 120 feet. Oh, it's only 120 Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's why I was asking how yeah. far, because if I could message him, that would solve that. But yeah, it would solve that. If we could, is there another, do you know if there's another entrance around here? Because if we can get another grate, mm -hmm. and if we can send something up so that he can see, and then we only have to message to someone to send up a message. Yeah. Well, there's, there's um, accesses all over the place yeah. um, to try to minimize any kind of trekking through the sewers that they need to do. Yeah. Um, there were, uh, as we established last session, there were um, access points to, at, to each of the buildings on the grounds to the, the sewers below. So could I do a, I don't know, this would probably be a straight intelligence or maybe a investigation check maybe what are, you, um, what are you looking to do I want to basically try to set up a, um, a relay system a relay chain to one of the grates up that he yeah. can see the grate yeah well you I mean you're smart enough to figure that out where yeah. you could be like you could just peek through one area and be like okay right here yeah how far away is that yeah you could do that no, like no, I'm no imagining this is happening in the pre-planning stage so we would right. be able to right right I mean you could even tie something to the grate that you'd be able to see from the street so that we know that underneath we can see it <laughs> just tie well, that bell well that's what I'm saying right so yeah. that way it's just one person's over here like I'm over here and then I cast a message to whoever's over here and they ring the bell and then they even can see that and go for the next part yeah yeah, because you're gonna. So, do you have to see somebody to cast a message? No, um, I don't believe so. Do okay, so yeah. somebody on the other side of the wall, and we're gonna say, uh, "Ring the bell, light the fire, get the hell out the way," uh, and I cast silence right after you do that. Yeah. Then they ring the bell, 
throw the alchemist fire as we're hiding somewhere yeah. in the vault. Well, kaboom. We're so all, this is what I'm saying. We're all coming in. I, the, we're just going to come in oh, through we're that just gonna hole. Go, oh. Yeah. Because if, if we're already in, the hole is basically just an escape route. But if we're going to make an escape route, we might as well use that to not have well, to we'll have sneak more through time. the... Exactly. No, we'll have more time if we come in through the main door. Sure, but we're getting two items in a vault, which, I mean, it could That's, be sizable. Yeah, but, but it's big. But we don't know whether <laughs> we'll get... Yeah. We're stealing the whole vault, evidently. Whole vault now. Higher knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, we have plants. We know how big the vault yeah, is. We have, yeah, you do have, yeah, you do have plants. It is the vault of a fire giant. So yeah. it's actually fairly small for him. Yeah. Like he, he occupies it. Really it was like big for this, the guy that made it this yeah. high. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's got high ceilings, but um, like the, the vault size is How does he get small. through that little door? He's got his tools. Yeah. No. It, it's well, taller. Again, it was really big for the gnome that built it. It's true. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, so, pissed when he got so sick, uh, I heard a couple a of things. Job. I heard just going through the sewer door, mm -hmm. yeah. and but uh, Mike suggested you might have more time to access the vault and search it if you use the door and blow your way out. Because hey, we don't know where it is in there. I mean, I could go. We, we also don't know what we're going up against to get to the door. Is my main thing. That's also true. Because this. Oh, if you talk we, your way past everybody. Sure, but talking our way past. Uh, or we could just staff. do it stealthily. I could just sneak and hide and then wait for people to pass and sneak and hide again. Potentially. Potentially. Work my way there and distract, like. Or if you guys all went in at night, you know for a fact that, that there's, there's much fewer there's people. There's much fewer people. Yeah. That the night servants don't, well, the servants that are on the grounds are not active at night. They're just there in case of emergency. Yeah. Um, and there are, I believe there's, I think I said 10 guards as opposed to like 30? Yeah. Yeah. So we can we can figure out like uh, what their path is and. I'm not trying to influence your decision. Yeah, I'm just I, trying to relay the facts. And I'm not, I'm not saying that's not a good idea. My problem, the, the problem I'm seeing here is we have a a mansion, and we have no but idea you have, what's inside the mansion. You have plans to the mansion. Sure. But when it comes to Where magic or traps or oh. alarms on doors or... It is also, it is also a, a residence. Yeah. yeah. So I they're think not... we already heard that. Like, the, the majority of the grounds aren't, like, covered in traps. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. They're not going to trap their house because then they have to avoid the traps. Maybe. I don't know. It's a training issue. It's a I'm staff a, training issue. Like if there's high turnover. Maybe maybe that's me. If I was a pirate lord, I would trap the fuck out of my house. I will say this. Yeah. I will say this. The well trafficked areas are not going to be trapped because he doesn't want to one, spring the traps on himself. Uh, or two, he hiring is gonna be a pain in the butt. You, yeah. You just have <laughs> Johnny the Well and every all the guards would know where all the traps were. That's like day probably two of yeah. Well, that's orientation. No, that's <laughs> they sit them down. I, they I watch, agree with they that. But if we if we spend go a million dollars on traps because employee theft is the number one <laughs> source of loss. That's very true. <laughs> but that's exactly what I'm saying. If we go in, we don't know where the traps are. All the staff knows where the traps are. Sure. We have this knocked out drunk guy. <laughs> You, you don't, don't have, have the knocked out no. drunk guy. <laughs> we left also, the knocked out drunk guy was like day one or two. So you, but you do, you do have this. So this is getting to the point where you need to start pulling this off. But you still have a little bit more time if you wanted to go get some more intel on it. You know where the guards drink. Nah. Yeah. Just wing it. Swing it. We're good at it. We're good at the winging it. Oh, players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just sneak in? Get what we need and sneak back out. While you guys are doing the thing with the exploding wall. I mean, I'm willing to give it a try. I'm, I'm just saying. Give them their own code. <laughs> I was there when the it's code was four. given. No, you weren't. Three. What? No, you weren't. It you was weren't. us two. I was invisible. Yeah. yeah. And I was talking oh, to him in the shop. Right. Yeah. I was still in the bar. No, I would give him. I would give him. Three, I have nothing against Jeff. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are jerks. Yeah. They would never give me the the, <laughs> the code of four three three. That's got to be wrong. It's got to be wrong. Probably the opposite of a real code. I'll put in one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As oh, you would. 
Those guys are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I gained, I gained nothing from that. So, no, yeah, I would give you the real code. But um, the person we were thinking about giving the wrong code was uh, Snakey Lady. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but again, I think that's just going to fuck up our plan. I don't think it's actually going to kill her. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the bomb might, though. Yeah. The so, pull up, this, pull up this barrel right next to All right. And go. She's smart enough. She'll see through that. Um, so we could try sending you, and we could try. We could give you Sir Cash too, so you'd have another person to help out, or She's maybe so push in good. front of the. Because you don't have to outrun the guard; you just have to outrun her. Yeah. Um, and then you know, worst case scenario, you let us know, and we just blow through the the vault anyways. But do you want Faven with you, or do you want Faven to do a distraction outside? If we're gonna do this, if at we're gonna night, do it at night, the do distraction doesn't the distraction work. Outside. Okay. Well, we can have him in the guard uniform. Yeah, but I think they're gonna. They said that they were a outside comp. They were a mercenary company, a well-known mercenary company. Yeah, the black Network. That were working with security. I think they're gonna know if he's not them. At a he, distance. He's a bard of deception. Yeah. If, he's got some stuff on of his own that he can do to. If he can, at a distance, not up close. And he could disguise himself as the new guy. Like yeah. not everybody's gonna. Yeah. Right, and it's only been a couple days, yeah. so he disguised himself as the new guy because yeah. it's actually his uniform. Uh -huh. So at a distance, he might be passable as that guy. Sure. But yeah, if he gets talked to, he, maybe even by the new guy, it yeah. might go bad. Yeah. And the other thing is, so this, so this is the other part of it about the guard. I wanted the guard uniform as an option, but I'm just thinking, what is him being in the guard form going to help the two sneaky people going to do at that point? Well, the, he can be the lookout and like flag them along when the, the coast is clear. He sure, can actually be the active lookout. Again, we get to the part where I'm not, which is once they're inside the house, he's not going to be able to do much for them because they patrol the outside of the house. He could be using the bathroom. Sure. But I think they actually haven't. We actually know they have an outhouse outside. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's yeah. true. They yeah. don't have many outhouses. Yeah, because <laughs> that was where all their stuff was. Yeah, every yeah. I mean, I I I, I guess it can't hurt. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. So, is that what we want to try to do? I think so. Okay. I think it's fine. I think it'll be fun this way. Okay. It'll be okay. Super fun. So, <laughs> just so I know, and the audience knows, yeah. you two, mm -hmm. Mike, uh, Craig and Vizago, uh -huh. are going to go into the sewers mm -hmm. and set, set up the bomb. The, the bomb. Yep. yep. He, Sakesh, uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrew, and Thaven mm -hmm. are going to go onto the grounds mm -hmm. and um, make their way somehow, in, not Thaven, but the rest of them, or Thaven and the rest of them? Thaven's going to try and be a lookout for them, but okay. his main thing is going to be try to keep up guard because as soon as they know that there's a fake guard, they're going to know they're going to be sneaking around. Right. It, it, suspicion goes up. Right. So if he can't help them out and move through, he's going to try and help them move through. Okay. But if it's keep up the cover, help them move through, he will probably and try to keep up cover. How are you going to notify... How are the two teams, or is it by a message that the two teams are going to be like, because okay, if they now get, we're ready? If they get into the vault, I can message through okay. there. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, that sounds Although, good. Although, uh, so yeah, just, you know, because yeah. we know it's here, yeah. so just do a knock, and then once I hear that, I'll be able to message yep. through to you. Okay. Because you um, can reply, and you can say, yes, everything's ready, go. Okay. okay. So, Mike, can you tell I'm me also gonna be how, what the duration of invisibility is? One hour. One hour, okay. Maybe not now. <laughs> I can make somebody invisible for an hour. An hour, you they, say. Thaven also has the ability to cast invisibility, so... Oh, well, that's even easier than sneaking. Well, I cast on you. Yeah, Perfect. He, he cast casts on Sakesh. He casts on Sakesh. Two invisibles. We keep bumping into each other. You should hold hands. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> your hands are cold. Scaly hands. And then you hold hands I'm with Thaven. Yeah. Now, I'm don't off. hold hands with Thaven. That would look weird. He's, that would... like, walking down like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'm or also just, or put your hand I'm going to throw an inspiration die your way so you have oh, a d6 you. you can use at some point Hooray. and then if you're no longer invisible I'll know yeah that's true so fair enough um, are you guys ready to do that yeah. Or, yeah. or if you become invisible you know I'm dead 
Uh, <laughs> there you go. So, uh, it's problem. A problem. So, <laughs> problem. I have a missile. Um, so you go back to Nickus, mm -hmm. and what happens? I ask him if I can procure some of his black powder. Certainly. Do you have money? Yeah. Okay. Do I have money? <laughs> I think you do. Okay. Hey. Uh, I know for a fact that Vaziago is owed 180 gold. Yeah. <laughs> Which is where the 50 I already paid him is coming from, yes. Mm. Uh, so I think you'd have some money, yeah. sure. Yeah. So how much uh, black powder do you want? I tell him how much. Because to be made the, Nate, the intelligence, you probably know it would be yeah. exact amount. Yeah, yeah I, need, exact I know. Amount. I know. Yeah. Exact weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, I need plus point two. Yeah. Plus okay. 5%. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm taking that back for the dwarves to analyze and they make their own. And now you can write it off as a business expense. <laughs> it's, it's actually, so um, the only people that are capable of making black powder and have the secrets of black powder are um, clerics of Gond, um, which Nickus is a cleric of Gond. Oh, well then I tell him about the wonderful clan Rumbletide mm -hmm. and how he needs to book passage on the first ship there, because this isn't going to be safe after it's done, after we do what we're going to do. Mm. So he might need to start packing up his stuff and head there. Tell him mm. Craig sent you, and you will be but he treated has, very well. He has business with other pirate lords. Well. It's an up and comer. Yes. <laughs> Again. Like you is there a way in? that you guys can take care of this so that it doesn't lead back to me? Um, yeah. Actually, yes. How's that? Uh, we. Punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a, there's this there's this chemical called chloroform? Have you heard? Um, just look at just this. Tell me smell what this. this. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no uh, we just take a uh, charge of black powder and place it on the door, and then after I mean after we've already opened it, and we mm -hmm. set that off, and it makes it look like some okay. use an explosion to bust bust the door instead of just typing in the code. Okay. Um, he is willing to um, provide you with black powder to accomplish your goal. Um, he, the amount that he is going to charge is more than you have currently between the two of you. Well, um, this not getting back to you <laughs> is probably will, good for you. Was probably going to be better for business than the money that you might not have when you're dead. Why don't you make me a persuasion check? Oh, yeah. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be you. Oh. Do you want to maybe just... You're you should, trained you in just, it, right? You should do that. Yeah. I'm not trained at all. Oh, you're not trained? Okay, no. well, I'll just roll it straight then. Oh, natural 27. Well, 27. there you go. Okay. <laughs> so, um... That seems like plenty seven. He... Yeah, 27. He's like, you know, you bring up some good, good points. points. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you guys are ever... In town again, um, we can definitely talk business. Um, he feels safe, uh, even if it might go wrong. Go wrong. He's yeah. got the protection of other pirate lords. Other, pir so. other pirate lords. Yeah. So he's definitely not going to be on Volgrum's good side. Yeah. Um, but, but also, fuck that guy. Right. How many and times? He can't keep saying that. That's fun. No, he's he already monster. said it another time. Not this session. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, go ahead and make me a deception roll. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, deception is... Hold on, is... let me roll my perception. Yeah. I got a 19. 20. Oh. He only said it once. <laughs> Only said it once. All right. <laughs> Let me see. I don't even need to roll this. I get a plus 20 bonus. Uh, BS? Um, nope. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he gives you a hog's head worth because that's what you measure uh, black, worth. black powder in. Is hog's Clearly. Head. Clearly. Uh, All right, cool. Yeah. So we got that. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go set up down there. We'll okay. send you guys there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the and then Craig is going to cast invisibility on Sakesh and on Jeffrey. I mean. On me. Seven's going to cast it on Sakesh. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yep. Craig is going to cast it on Jeff. Okay. Yep. So you guys are both invisible in the sewers. Um, as you're making your way through the area that was 
all walled off by the Odeo. Yeah. Um, you notice, well, actually, why, does, why doesn't everybody give me a perception check? Sure. Except for Jeffrey. You can do a perception check with his advantage, because it's dark. 23. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five. Okay. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, you notice um, there were some carvings on the floor of the sewers that you didn't see before because uh, there was grossness. Um, it's all been sucked clean. Uh, but yeah, it has, it has cleaned up significantly. So the carvings are uh, depict a Upside down pyramid with um, symbols uh, ar around them. Do you speak dwarven? Uh, I don't speak dwarven. The, the dwarf does. Yeah, so I'll um, point it out. So they're, they're symbols. <laughs> How did you miss those? I don't know. Um, <laughs> around, like, look here. around the bottom of the inverted pyramid. Um, and then there is some scrawl um, in dwarven. So you what tell me about it. it. Yeah, yeah. I cast prestidigitation and clean it all off. Okay, so now you can. It's clearly legible to you. I am um, exploding runes today. Oh I've got, damn it! So, <laughs> Every time. <laughs> um, so what you can read is the symbols around the inverted pyramid are um, dwarven runes for each of the elements. So uh, air, water, fire, ale, <laughs> and earth. Um, and then um, yes. the scrawl <laughs> beside <laughs> it uh, speaks of uh, elements rising up to wipe out all but the faithful. Um, and then Amen. directs uh, those who can read it to uh, Heatham Emberto. Does anybody train in religion, proficient in religion? I mean, technically, yes. No. No, not trained. No. I got kicked out of the monastery because of the bagpipes. But I don't think I know anything about What'd it. What'd you get? A four. Four. Technically. You, you think that that... <laughs> Natural 23. You think that that proficient... Uh, the, the symbology looks to be the symbol of... Like a religious order, but you can't. You don't know. Oh what man, it's it totally about. And Dale. then when he Beards. mentions that it's a religious order, you're like, oh, uh, the uh, Elder Elemental Eye. That's that's the order. The order of the Elder Elemental Eye. Gonna do a history check to see if we know about that. Okay. Get advantage. I'm gonna make a knowledge Thanks. acrobatics check. You gonna do a backflip? I got a 13. Uh, 12. You do a backflip. 12 on the history. Nobody um, sees me. Dang it, I'm invisible. Uh, <laughs> so there are a cult that worships um, this being known as the Elder Elemental Eye. Um, and he is thought to control um, elements in the abyss. Hmm. Why would somebody worship that? Uh, so why here? They probably watch his show. Yeah, why here? That's weird. Yeah. That is weird. All right, well. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Odiog was a member. That's why. Maybe the Gelatinous Cube, Cube was a member. Yep. Gelatinous Cube's known to be devout worshippers. Yeah. <laughs> no, they devour worshippers. Oh, <laughs> wow. I've been reading that wrong. You know? hey. So you guys. That page is dirty. So yeah. Make your way to the, the spot where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't require anything. Um, Thaven will do his disguise check. Mm -hmm. uh, um, can I assist him with that? Yeah. Sure. Let's roll again. Uh, he, he did really well the first time. Cool. Well, at least much better than his two for the second roll. Yeah. Um, so he appears as as uh, a a guard. Can he be the new guy? That yeah. We he'll, trust he'll, him? So he has a disguise kit. He'll yeah. pull it out. And he'll make himself over and it looks passable yeah it looks passable so then he casts a uh, invisibility on you 
uh, or visibility on Sakesh. You cast invisibility on Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, this is at night, correct? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. So um, you guys make your way to the closest, um, the closest outlet to the sewers on the grounds. I'm assuming, and mm -hmm. um, Thaven will go first uh, because he's if he's caught. Well, can we can go first and. Well, the, well, he's gonna scout out for you, to, so you, that way you know you're not running into like three guards on break. My my thought was, if an invisible character lifts up a sewer grate, um, it looks less suspicious, or it looks more suspicious than uh, a guard. Yeah, it's just the sewer gas pushing the grate. Up. Yeah, yeah. Ghosts. So, regardless, it's it doesn't take an effort to really get out of the sewers. Okay, beforehand. good. All right. So he gets out and he motions for you guys to come up. Um, so uh, Jeffrey and Sakesh to climb out of the sewers. Who goes first? I motion to let her go, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, and then she bumps into you. Uh, <laughs> she pokes nice. you, which then means it's combat. And oh no! You she Shoot. drops. Yeah. Uh, Making con saving throws. <laughs> gonna have to save her since her poison damage. Um, oh no. <laughs> So, you guys get up on the grounds. Um, there are m more guards than, than we expected. Than you saw before, and as you kind of make like Thaven is walking, like he walking with purpose, like mm -hmm. he's walking back to a post or something. Um, and you see that there is a uh, a carriage that has that is on the grounds that you didn't see before. It, the reason that you know that you didn't see it before is because it is bright red, um, and it, the wood is carved to look like scales. Um, really? Yeah. And there's a horse that is wearing like red scale barding. Like um, dragon design. Yeah, dragon design. Um, Interesting. And... Um, Jeff, who has no idea what to think about that. <coughs> yeah, he's like, look, cool. carriage. Neat. Um, and there are um, humanoids. You can't really tell the, the race of them. Um, in full black, um, like tabards that kind of conceal their shape a little bit. Um, and then they've got these masks that are draconic. Uh, and they appear to be standing around the um, the carriage as kind of guards. Right. Um, and as you're kind of making your way towards um, the front of the house, or kind of towards the house anyway, um, you see a, a dragonborn entering the house in black and gold armor. Is it a red dragonborn by any chance? It is a red dragonborn. How would Jeffrey know? Oh, I, I, <laughs> I can see. I know. It's a, it is a red dragonborn. Um, and uh, the Seneschal is talking to um, this dragonborn, and he's saying um, that he's going to show him to Vulgrim's, um, Vulgrim's uh, parlor. OK. So as you make your way up, it is very much, I'm thinking, like, just for the sake of things, I'm thinking very much X-Men, like grounds, mansion, lots of, um, lots of land around it, and then also a cup, a series of like buildings for the help. Sure. So um, there are multiple entries into um, the manor itself. All right. So what would you like to do? Well, I'm definitely not going to follow the dragonborn. Because it seems like probably a good idea. Not the best choice. I mean, the, the front door is probably unlocked. I'll just go through the front door. Okay. Wait. Well, I mean, is anybody because, around there? That's where. That's where you just that's, went. Yeah, can I get through? Do you think I could make it through? Why don't you make a stealth check? Well, sure, I can do that. Plus, I'm invisible, so I get advantage on my stealth check, right? You do. So a sixteen. So do you tell anybody what you're planning on doing before you start heading towards the thing? Because no one I, can see you. Why would I do that? We know what the I'm plan is. The plan is to get to the to the vault. Okay. And I see so an opportunity and off. I go for it. Okay. 
Um, remind me what you can do with your bonus action. Uh, I you can, can spend key points, right? Yeah, but I don't have any key powers yet at level three. Okay. I, I can only know. I can only uh, as a bonus action I can make an extra unarmed attack. You can just if I use an attack action. Okay. So um, you can use the dash action to move double your speed, and your speed is forty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can move 80 feet. You can get into the door before it closes. Perfect. For sure. um, and you got a 16 on your cell check. Mm -hmm. That is going to beat the passive perception of all the guards standing next to the carriage. Okay. Um, it is also going to beat the passive perception, just barely, of Thaven. And let me see. <laughs> Sakesh. About Sakesh. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yeah, it beats her <laughs> passive perception, too. So, <laughs> Thaven's walking up, and Sakesh is walking next to him, and you're just like, <laughs> triple split. <laughs> but why wouldn't I? I mean, I gotta get in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now and, I will move Thaven, cautiously. Thaven looks to Sakesh, and he's like, um, does it matter? Do you guys know if it matters? Um, which door we went in? And Sakesh is like, no. Okay, got it. Um, what, Jeffrey? Yeah. <laughs> Does it matter which? Does it matter, Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mistakes so, were made. So That's... you're in, and uh, the seneschal is escorting um, the dragonborn, uh, the dragonborn, Lord Archon, <laughs> to um, the parlor. Say off we're in to the, the right. I'm yeah. gonna go left. You go left. All right. You um, look map. I know. I, I'm smart enough because I've got can a plus you, one my intelligence. Can you read an invisible map? I I already <laughs> looked at the map. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know where I'm going. I'm just thinking it would be really funny if you it pulled out be. the map to look at it and you're like, <laughs> no, he just he has to let it go. I have to put it on the bench. <laughs> he has to drop it. And it appears. And then he can pick it back up and, and he gets the visual. Oh, that's a good idea. And there's just a floating map of the place. <laughs> and it's just, just we're moving up. around. And I'm sure no one will be like, I wonder if someone's trying to break in or something. I don't know. That's weird that a map appeared on this table. <laughs> yeah. Where'd it so, go? Why does um, it say break in here and circle? So for the most part, on the inside, um, it is similar to how you expected it to be. Okay. It is it's dark. Nice. It is nice. Um, when you enter the main entryway, there is the first thing you see actually is a. How traveled is Jeffrew? Is he fairly traveled? Is he journeyed places? Uh, yeah. Okay, so he sees a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's the first thing he sees when okay. he enters in. <laughs> um, and but it's go ahead and make an insight or check. It's alive. Insight check. Whew! It's animated. Here we go. I got a 13. Okay, so you notice that it is pierced by a great sword. Oh yeah. In several. It's a trophy. Yeah. So and it is it is taxidermy, um, and but it is pierced by a large great sword, um, and the great sword is standing on its hilt in the ground. And any bard that sees that goes, oh, I want to cast any object on that. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Um, and if you head off to the left, you're heading towards the uh, the kitchen area. And um, I don't the kitchen. why don't you make uh, an intelligence check? Are you trained in history? I'm not trained in history. An intelligence check to remember where you're supposed to be going. It wouldn't be insight? No, right. this is history. Recent. I've got a five. A five. So you're like, that's my that fish. Right. And then you head that off. That's right. Like, I go um, down a hall. Left, left, and right. I'm looking for stairs down. That's all I sure, remember. Sure, sure. Um, so make a perception check as you. I can't just use my passive as I'm going slowly. Well, this is for what you hear behind you. Oh, OK. Nothing. He doesn't hear anything. You don't nope. hear. He got a natural one. Uh, fine. Well, okay. to so you so hear. You <laughs> hear uh, a, a booming, a booming voice. Well, 
Oh, I hear the large voice creaks of, coming down the yeah, stairs, I hear and then the you, voice of a not sleeping giant. And you hear a uh, the booming voice of it, clearly a giant yeah. talking to a visitor. dragonborn visitor, um, but you can't make out what they're saying <coughs> because of the the way you're going through. So, at this point, you can travel your speed and have advantage on your stealth checks. Okay, or you can. Take the dash action, move double your speed, and not have advantage on your stealth check. I will travel my speed okay. and have advantage. Okay. All right. So we cut back to you two. What are you guys doing? Waiting for the signal. We are making sure that we have the bomb set up. Bomb is set up. Okay. Um, and then we start damming up and slightly diverting mm -hmm. the sewer okay. so that when the bomb goes off, hopefully it starts flowing into the... Um, so why don't you make uh, what it will effectively be an engineering check for that? Um, so I think we figured that it was history. Yeah. history. Yeah, history. So, so history. I'm gonna give you a dash. So history. weird for engineering. Questions. Sure. Well, so you're recalling knowledge. Sure. Plans. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll it, it's gonna. Why well, commit to memory something that's already been written down? So what are you gonna do? Uh, then I gotta. You get advantage from me. Yeah. So 19. 19, okay. So yeah, you, you feel like you dammed up something fairly well. Um, the water is kind of pooling behind it. Um, you notice um, on the far side, so you see this long mm -hmm. sewer tunnel. On the far side, you notice um, torchlight is coming from around the bend there. Um, and why don't we set up our minis on the map here just so that we, if there happened uh. to be an encounter, uh, we would know where everybody was at. That's Craig? That's Craig. That's Craig. All right. That's what's that, Bill? Oh, oh, that's so great. Mm -hmm. New ones if we need them later. Oh, I'm sure we'll need. You even had the stone fish. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah, he's a transmitter. Um, Is this seven? Yeah. <laughs> and drink in one hand. And a rapier in the other. And a rapier in the other. Yeah. The other. yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are there. Um, Around the the corner on my right, so yeah, towards right. Aaron, okay. um, there is the flickers of torchlight coming around that. This way. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, strange. That usually works. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are you guys doing? I'm going to go, we have this little alcove over here in the door. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over there and hide. Hide. and hide. I'm going to use my stealth. I thought you didn't stealth. I do, I just don't do it as well as everyone else. <laughs> uh, ten. Okay. So like you said. super good. Yeah. Slum back in into yeah. the, uh, the area there. Uh, yeah. What's Craig doing? Um, not hiding on a bomb. Yeah, Step hide one. On bomb. Hide, hide on a bomb. bomb. What's the I'm gonna. Yeah. You said bomb on a plane. Yeah. Um, it's a fire see, five, in a theater, Mike. 10, 15. <laughs> I'm gonna go hide back here. <laughs> okay, so make your stealth check. That <laughs> is a 17. Okay. Nice. And are you peeking around the corner? Or are you, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm. All right. So as you, um, as you watch, um, a group of. Uh, Individuals dressed in all black. Um, one that you would recognize from the, um, the tavern that I totally remember the name to. Um, the Powder King. Conveniently is, named. Is a very large individual, um, kind of furry. Um, oh, furbog? Furbog, yeah. Um, and there's three of them, and they're carrying what appears to be a sack that's moving quite a bit while they're carrying it. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably just their pet dog. Or, um, or somebody that deserves it. And yeah, it's probably somebody that deserves it. Their torchlight doesn't make it far enough down the tunnel to illuminate you. Yeah. So your, um, your stealth is fine. Yeah. Um, and they just continue on down another it's tunnel. They're going down the yeah. south way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good. <laughs> that worked out. None of my business. 
<laughs> I'm sure that guy is going to be fine. No. Who cares? Um, okay, my guy. so why don't you make one more... We know that Corbo um, can handle himself. Yeah. One more engineering check to set up the bomb. Oh, yeah. It's you. Set us up the bomb. It's me. <laughs> Main screen turn on. Uh, that's a 26. <laughs> 26. Aaron is not old enough to know that. Dude, I wasn't old enough until you showed it to me. Oh, yeah. I had a t-shirt of that. It was yep. I was like, what is that shirt? And he had to explain it. Yeah. And we had a YouTube. 17. It. So you set up the bomb fairly well. <laughs> 20, uh, 26. Even better. You, yeah. you pack it in there and you think that, yeah, this is going to work great. Um, and you move. Well, you guys don't need a torch because you guys have got yeah. dark vision. Yeah. So you don't have I a torch. And I also don't need an alchemist fire because I just cast a firebolt. Yeah. And yeah. kabloom. Yeah. So you guys are set. Yeah. Set there. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to hide right back here. Oh, yeah. Now that the bomb's set. Yeah. Zago's like, no, I'm going to see. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, this looks cool. Uh, this looks real yeah. cool. No. no. You can't look at it. You have to turn your back to it. Oh, you're right. You gotta, you gotta not look at it. I have to explosion. set myself up to slowly walk away from it. So, Jeffrey, for no yeah. reason at all. No reason. Um, well, first off, I'm not drunk. Let's. I'm just lost. I know. So, first off, you've got. Let's resolve the two NPCs that are on the outside. Um. So they. I look around. I'm like. <laughs> so they've been. Thaven makes his way to the door, um, and he's going to make a deception check to talk his way past the guard, and he's able to get into the house. Nice. Uh, he talks his way past the half-orc, um, who's standing at the door, um, and um, he walks into the, the manor. Okay. Um, you assume, uh, we assume Sakesh does too, but no one can tell. Right. Um, and he does not go towards Volgrim because he thinks that's a bad idea. Right. That makes sense. And so as you're kind of struggling with which way to go, you Do see, see David. Yeah. Excellent. And why don't you make another perception check for me real quick? All right. You do not see Sakesh. That is an 11. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all you see. All right. Okay. So I, I don't know, I guess I have to be really careful. How many people are around? Um, like, in this hallway, you don't see anybody. Can I get to him and like oh, yeah. whisper something in his ear? Like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go ahead and make a history check himself. Okay. Uh, National 20. Nice. And he's like, uh, follow me. <laughs> And he heads off in another direction. I follow him. So you guys kind of navigate these. <laughs> all of these dark corridors look very similar. It's very lavish. Yeah. Um, there are different trophies for yeah. different things. Um, all. I mean, you spread. can't blame me for taking my time looking around. Sure, sure, exactly. Um, and eventually you come to a set of stairs um, that go down. Um, and he says, I, I believe that this is where we need to go. Who's supposed to search for traps? Uh, Sakesh. Sakesh, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sakesh is, is there. No, I'm not. And she will go ahead and... hangs on that ass. She will go ahead and make a perception check, which the, she got the one a, that wasn't even in the word a twenty-one. And um, so, as you guys are making your way down the stairs, she points out there is a um, a, like a trigger. Yeah, a, one of the steps pressure plate looks higher than the uniform steps that you're on, and that appears to be a, a pressure plate. Um, so she goes ahead. Jumps over it. Steps over it. Uh, kind of just jumps down to the next step. Oh. These are, keep in mind. Oh yeah, they're for these a giant. Are giant steps. So she jumps Easy. the five feet to get to the next okay. one and lands. Um, yeah, 
She lands. Cool. And um, and then what happens next? Uh, does that get us to the door? Well, she is now to the door, but she is also invisible. And well, you are also invisible, and Thaven is not invisible. So. Okay. Do you want to make your acrobatics check to yeah down? Yeah. Okay. That's a sixteen. A sixteen. Okay. You you make it across, um, and you continue down. And you're standing next to the door. Okay. And. Um, Thaven stumbles onto the step. <laughs> <laughs> and he jumping five feet, he stumbles onto the step. Yeah, I rolled low. So, um, what happens here is there is a small explosion of fire on the steps, or on the step, and okay. it's fairly loud. Um, Can we hear it? No, no, no. It's oh. not a, a boom. Um, and Thaven takes some fire damage. Um, and let me just look at how much fire damage he might take in this. I don't know why he even came down the stairs. Oh, did you not want him to come down the I stairs? I didn't. I d like, I don't know why he would come down. Cause well, he's... we can rewind time if you want a little bit. Are you... I, I mean, hold on. You gained like, the ability to rewind time. I feel like that did would you be not, cheating. You did not. I didn't expect him to come down the stairs. Ugh. Honestly. So, mm. at the top of the stairs, would you have said, "Okay, you're waiting here," or what? Yeah, what I would, would you think so. But I don't want to. I don't want to use that. I, I'm kind of curious to see what would happen because if it's just <laughs> Thevin gets pulled away and they realize, like they look, obviously nobody else is here because. Mm -hmm. The cash and I are still invisible. So what's more yeah. interesting? Do you want him to stay at the top of the stairs, or do you want him to come down the stairs? You tell him to run. Uh, I tell him to stay at the top of the stairs. Okay, so he stands at the top of the stairs. Okay. And you're at the base of the stairs. Okay. And you have, you. I'm assuming you guys have shared the code. Yeah. With, yeah. Multiple with times. I've told yeah. You. I've got the code. Go ahead and make a history check. I wrote it down. Oh, it's on this, I told him to write it's it down. On this it's note in my. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, I need you to come down here and read this. <laughs> uh, I got uh, five. No, I'm not going to make you. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty easy code. It's you one, two, three, four. four. It's one, right. two, three. Five. So as you, as you put in uh, the code mm -hmm. and you open the door. Yes. Do you slip in and close the door, or do you just leave the door open? I will be closing the door. It's behind you. Okay. Yeah. So it is, um, the door is similar to the um, the Dwarven Forge setup, where you can okay. see through into the thing. All right. And as you close it behind you, you see a half-orc grab Thaven and say, is that demon boy with you? Uh oh. Um. And and he pulls him with the seneschal out of your sight. Well, I'm glad I closed that door. And so, in the vault. So what you see in the vault? Not so lucky number seven. Is a. Um, it's funny because only one person knows what I'm yep. talking about. Yep. He does. He didn't hear it. Yep. Um, so it, what you see is you see several, um, several. Well, I think I might actually. It would be good if I wrote it down, like the the description of the vault itself. Um, but I didn't. So what you see is a number of clay pots, large clay pots that are filled with treasure, like gold and uh, gems stuff. and stuff. Yeah. There are a few items on display stands. There's a, um, <coughs> a probably three and a half to four foot long um, cane with this, a skull on the end. Um, and it looks like there it's carved to have vertebrae where it connects to mm. the the cane itself. Well, I'll be stealing that. <laughs> um, there is a. I want to get that in the wrong hands. A um, looks like a seashell. 
um, that's on kind of a, a velvet, velveteen pillow. Um, there is armor on an armor stand. Um, and there is a what appears to be a gate of sorts um, mm. that is on the far side of the, um, uh, the vault. Um, and it looks like it has two stone pillars. Um, also, uh, something that you would notice is this use, this was not a giant's vault all the time. It is very clearly what used to be a crypt okay. and has kind of been repurposed all right. for this. Um, there are still skeletons um, in some of the, uh, the walls, entombed in the walls. Um, there are two braziers that have continual flame in them okay. um, on the sides of the walls and then in the corners as Perfect. well. Perfect. Uh, and they glow a greenish hue. Okay. Um, so. I'm going to take a really close look at the floors and make sure that I don't see any, like, trigger so plates or pressure plates. So why don't you make an investigation check for me? Investigation? Yeah. Not a perception. If you're investigating for trap. Really? Is that how yeah, it works? No, I'll, I'll let oh. you make a perception check. I just, just trying to fuck with you. All right, thank you. That's a 19. Nineteen. Um, you get the sense that if anything is trapped, it's not the floor. Okay. Um, it, would it be might be. Items, it might be. Yeah. You you get the sense that there there are specific items around this room that might be on pressure plates themselves. Okay. Um, to alert. I look and uh, next to one of the clay pots. Mm -hmm. Can I tell if there's anything that would like be a pressure sensitive plate on, on that the clay pot is on? Uh, yeah, so uh, the, the pots that you're specifically looking at, there is a d uh, discolored stone underneath okay. one of them that um, if you were to like lift the clay pot entirely, would probably But if I just like took it. That would probably be okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll knock on, like I'll slowly work my way over to that and okay. knock. Um, and you're, so Sakesh is now visible, by the way. Oh. Um, oh and she's like, I guess I'll take this shell. And she puts no, it don't in take the bag. shell. Shoot. Um, that's the horn of the, the merfolk. That oh, she is that what she's wearing? Um, I knock on the door. OK, so I you guys hear away. a knock on the wall. So I'll cat, cast message and be like, are you ready? You can uh, reply to this message. <laughs> I, I can reply to You can. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I say that Thevin got nabbed, and it's uh, me and Sakesh in the vault. Okay. Set the charge. Okay. And then I, because I'm backing <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, you, you back up. So I cast Silence on okay. there. So now you're visible, because Silence is concentration too, yes. right? Yep. yep. So you Shoot. and Sakesh are visible in the vault. Yep. And she's like, sees me as I'm like... Oh, she's grabbed a couple <laughs> all right, all right. of things herself. She's not grabbed, like, she's kind of sussed out the situation, too, where, like, stealing a little bit is probably going to be okay, yeah, but stealing, but, like, specific items is Yeah, I'm just trying to not. make this worth my while. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you set the, uh, you cast silence, you firebolt it, mm -hmm. and it explodes, and there is a shower of stone. I would assume you're not standing right where the minis are, because that's kind of in the blast zone. But there's a shower of stone as the explosion. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm over here by these barrels. Just by those barrels. All of the coins that um, I put in my pocket. And uh, there's a shower of stone on the way in. Um, and it worked exactly how you wanted it to. There's enough room for a medium sized creature to uh, make their way in. Um, the steward starts filling up. Why don't you make a. Uh, Perception check with disadvantage. Oh, because you just had a explosion. Here. Well, he's immune it's to the thunder though. damage. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Not with disadvantage. Yeah, just and he's perception. immune, and he'd be immune to any thunder damage while in the. Well, you're not in the silence, but eighteen. The noise doesn't go out. Um. So you hear? What the hell was that? Go check the vault again. Oh my gosh. Is message still going or no? No, he. I he can, can only do it one it back. One, right. one way or so. Well, I'll, actually, as soon as the explosion comes out, I probably would have been like, are you okay? Uh, they heard us. 
Oh. Well, I mean, it's it's a rum, it's a rumble. Plan B. Right. Rumbles the foundation. So you guys go rumble into the vault. Bag. All right. Yeah. So you're in the vault. It's kind of covered with stone and dust at this point, and some, some shattered skeletons. Um, Sakash motions that she's got what she what she, what she came for. Mm -hmm. um, oh. I, Do I see the armor in there? You see the armor There's and armor. Um, the sword cane. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I'm going to grab both of those and be like, oh, these look interesting for no particular reason. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go over to the door and place the other charge that I've got. Okay. Go ahead and make your history check. That's so weird. But whatever. 25. 25. Okay. You, Craig's getting you, real good at black you, powder. Yeah. <laughs> you tape it all around the sides of the door, and it's going to explode up into the hallway if um, you want to that. So while yeah, that's do. going on, I'll pull you aside and you said Thalen got taken? Yeah. By a half-orc. Who took By him? a half-orc. And the, and the seneschal. Like the guide? Yeah, like and he said, uh, is something? the demon boy with you? Is what he said. Fuck it, not here. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Are what? you the demon okay. boy? Well, of yeah. course he's the make demon a, boy. Make a, no, it's uh, the other one. Because I'm not stupid. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you notice two things. Uh, you notice um, sounds in the in the sewer, um, and you notice a gate. I look at the gate. I'm like, what the heck? What is that? Oh, also, there's something noise coming from the sewer. From the sewer? Is the water rushing in? Water is starting to fill this area. Yeah. Yeah. Um. This is kind of a shot in the dark. Uh, I'm going to, because I was originally going to message Staven about this, but I'm going to message Craig, and I'll be like, uh, so you hear in your head, hey, by the way, the snake lady's not supposed to come back. Um, where is she right now? Oh, she's by the, she's where her mini is. She's right there where yeah. the mini is? Fantastic. So I'm going to go stand over here. Uh -huh. So why don't you, why don't you guys yeah. move your So Because I had pulled you aside so to talk can... to you, so if you're over there, yeah. which is why I messaged, because I knew he was over there, but I don't know if you were over there. Um, and then I'm gonna start rolling these d8s, uh, almost as if I was casting the spell sleep. 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 Okay. Yeah. Did she get a saving throw against us? No. No, no saving throw. Six. And it's hit point total. Okay. Hit point total, you say? Twenty-eight. Well, that's good for you because she has magic resistance, which gives her advantage on saving throws against magic effects. Yeah. Uh, she falls asleep. Should have been an elf. <laughs> I was um, gonna say if, if it's ma if it's current hit points. Yeah. Um, she's next to a door that's gonna explode. No. Yeah. No, I think it's hit point total. Oh. Uh, I, it is actually hit point total. So yeah. as you're because kind it's, of... it takes the chunk of the hit point out of your total, and then what's left stays awake. As you're starting to kind of piece things together um, and you put her to sleep yeah you see um, this odd looking human looking creature um, kind of shuffling its way into the the hole that you left but uh, it's not oh. <laughs> not walking. <laughs> Um, well, it's not coming into the hole, right? It's starting to come into the hole, yeah. So it is right, probably right about there. Um, and it's... Is it going to be... It'll be able to squeeze through? It's an ooze. Um, so well, what are you guys going to do? not going that way. At um, this point, there is a giant that is walking his way down the stairs. That we can hear. That you can hear. Um, I would like... Thundering his way down the stairs. To quickly go over, and I um, want to grab the horn. Okay. That's seashell? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I take the That's seashell. Fine. And then I'm going to go she's back. Unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I go, okay, so she's there. And by this point, I'm talking I'm, I'm talking Out slightly louder so that way you can hear. And I'd be like, so she's here to take the fall for the entire heist. Um, Ooze is coming in. I'm worried about Thieven. There's a thing there. We're not making it. What's this gate? What, <laughs> what's around me that I can snag? Uh, so there are, so at this point, any alarms, it doesn't matter. Right, yeah. You can grab, uh, there are a number of chests. There are, um, uh, the lids are open to reveal uh, chests full of coins and... Uh, coins, that's great. I'm looking for things. Okay. 
Um, there are uh, a number or of books. Yeah, on books. The, yeah, so you I, see, I go over and grab the books. Okay. Um, you see a fiery red hand that is going on the, the keypad. So are you going to up? Okay. <laughs> so he needs to make a saving throw. And I need you to roll uh, 10 d10 damage. Woo. All right, well, I'm, I'm just going to have to whip out a dice roll. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Do you want yes. you want some more? Mm, it says five of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Nine. All right. You got to re-roll one. I can use a percentile. That's what I get. I get a yeah. percentile. Yes. Do you want one more percentile to roll? Sure. Like there you got all ten. There you go. That's a good one. So, ten, twenty, thirty, forty-five, fifty-two, sixty-one, seventy. 70 damage? Yeah. Okay, so you roll 70 damage. Right. You, you the guys door explodes These are in black and gold. Yeah. Um, and does 70 damage to Volgrum, and he slams against the stairwell. <laughs> you have one round before he rates himself. What are you doing? I'm casting so grease on the. What is, how are we <laughs> getting gate? <laughs> yeah, so this gate user. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, make Is me an Arcana check. A line? Uh, do you want to make it with advantage? Sure. Uh, 24. Or 19. 24. Uh, you recognize it as a teleportation... Uh, um, as a teleportation gate. Um, it can send you to a number of locations that it is connected to. Uh, and with your 20, you said 24? Mm -hmm. You know how to activate it. Okay. Um, I... Okay, so you activate it. <laughs> the problem is you don't know the command word to keep it from, keep it stable. Mm. So at this point, it is flashing a number of different locations. So it's, so uh, one, uh, <coughs> one scene, um, Aaron, make me a perception check. Yep. That is perception sixteen. Okay, so you see um, a, a street on in Waterdeep. Um, you see. Ooh, I jump. <laughs> you see um, a jungle. You see <clears throat> a metallic room um, with a uh, large, um, uh, large, not cylindrical. Spherical. Um, spherical. Uh, leathery surface on it. Um, you see um, a harbor with uh, the ship that you recognize yep. as the Hellish, Hellish Wind. Wind. Yep. Um, and it just is flashing through. Yep. And at this point, you jump through? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Um, so roll so you, jump, you jump through. Um, you don't have to roll because I know where you land. Um, and then yep. you and Craig yep. hold hands and jump through? Yep. And I'll be like, time this out. And right before I jump, I'll be like, Sorry, Thaven, I told you this was the last one, and then I jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you jump through, and you guys appear in Lord Rundai's throne room, no, and hey. you appear somewhere else, and I yeah. don't want to spoil it, so we won't say where you appear. Okay. Two off. I think the original roll I made at the beginning of that, it was like 18, so we were, I almost got close. I was trying to remember what it was while I was rolling it. But. Yeah, so um, that is as much as... Um, we're going to get to as far as the story goes. Yep. We have another uh, 30 minutes of our normal run time. Oh, okay. Um, if you guys would like to talk uh, about kind of any questions that you might have at this point um, about what kind of went on, any questions about the campaign that you might be like, obviously, I'm not going to get into campaign secrets, but if there's something <laughs> specifically that you guys want to discuss, we can we can go over that. So it seems like Volgrim and Archon are friends. Yeah. Or they know each other. Yeah. You got um, you got a very friendly vibe. 
from <laughs> what you saw. What was uh, Mikey could be working for Archon. Yeah. So that was Thrak at the end, right? You grabbed him. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I was What's really thrak? hope. Uh, it's thrak. Um, thrak. Yeah, that, we can cover that. Yeah. So, Aaron, so, why don't you share some of your backstory? At so, this point? Uh, when Visago was in prison. Uh, that's where he met David. David was interested because he went to prison for the Hellish Winds capture. Uh, that was his original ship. Uh, there was only one way everyone was making it out, and so he had sent everyone on a side ship and sailed the flagship off uh, with just him. So when the guards showed up, instead of capturing the whole crew, they captured him, mm. which he was very pleased about, except until when they threw him in prison. Um, and then in the prison, he uh, got kind of picked on because he is... Uh, tiefling who what, didn't even have a class, uh, so he was pretty easy pickings. One of those e people who liked to pick that was a half-orc named Thrak, um, and he convinced Thaven to teach him to be a bard to protect himself from Thrak. So he, he's mm. his old prison bully, essentially. <laughs> so, um, what a jerk. One yeah, of the he's things jerk. that I was going to have happen is uh, Thrak works for uh, Fulgrim, obviously. Yeah. But he was going to be able, because he got, he knew you guys so well, because yeah. you guys all escaped the prison together. Oh, yeah. He escaped in the riot we caused, right? Right. Yeah. Um, is he was going to be able to see through your His disguise. disguise. Yeah. Either of your disguises. Yeah. Um, which I was like, oh, I wonder if Aaron will go up to um, <laughs> the half work. And he didn't, so... Yeah. Good on you for that. Yeah, well, because he avoids half works most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and what Howard missed was when Thaven talked his way into um, past the half work guarding the door, um, he recognized him and he was following him through yeah. the mansion as you guys were making your way through the mansion. Um, Interesting. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, they're they're definitely. Um, Volgram and Archon are definitely chummy. Um, Mike, yep. is there anything? Hmm. I'm trying to think of. You guys now know where Archon is too. Or we knew where he was. Like what? This was like a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. And how far away is that island from where we're at? Um, it's a pretty decent sailing distance yeah. away. So he's yeah, he's gonna be out of our hair for a little bit. Maybe. <coughs> Unless you can teleport. Um, I mean, if only they had a teleportation uh, tool. <laughs> weird. Yeah, but I mean, where in the 30 places did we yeah, end up? Exactly. That's one you of the few things that worked out for us. Yeah, is yeah I should have, I wanted to think of some way to like, maybe disrupt that gate, like throw the extra charge, and then just, as I jump through, Oh, no, did she survive the explosion? Oh, no. Uh, okay. No, she's dead. <laughs> yeah. So it's the cash from Thevin or Goners. Um, well, Devin is Devin. is not necessarily dead. The reason that you had oh he's not able to concentrate. He, yeah. yeah. So as soon as he's you start taking damage, you yeah. have to make concentration checks. Yeah. Probably was not the first thing on his mind. <laughs> no. Yeah. How do I gotta keep Sakesh invisible? <laughs> well, because again, <laughs> me and him from the beginning were like, well, the whole reason she's here is because she's gonna take the fall at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So we were, th or I was thinking. As you guys are up in the house mm -hmm. doing stuff, I'm like, why don't we just blow this thing up and go inside and steal it all while they're in the, <laughs> the house? <laughs> the thought had crossed the mind, yeah. Uh, so, my big thing was if we were able to get more if they came in, but is, yeah. Is that was going to end up fighting the gelatinous cube? Oh, I'm th I think the gelatinous cube is going to be toast because Volgrim. It's going, oh, there's an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> it just links its way back um, out. Also, he's fine. going to be pretty pissed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. It's Volgrim's pet. What I was thinking yeah. as I was kind of plotting what <laughs> would happen here is it's possible that you guys could have learned about the trap. Um, I wasn't going to have the uh, manor be trapped just because I wouldn't expect that you would trap your living space. But I would so do that if I was a pet. That's the problem. I'd well, absolutely. when you have, when yeah. you get your uh, your pirate um, when, when hideaway, when I become a pirate hideaway, it's traps uh, it's going to be nice. all kinds of traps. Um, it's just going to be pirate riddles to get to your living room. <laughs> so the the two people that knew about the trap were um, the seneschal and Volgrim. because no one else is supposed to go look at it. Right. Yeah. 
and there are both fired dudes. Yeah, so, so if it like, went off, whatever. Yeah, meh, okay. Yeah. Um, and it was more of a, a warning than anything else. Yeah. Um, so there was going to be pop. some stuff if you guys had, um, if anybody was interested in the conversation that Volgrim and uh, Archon were having, there was going to be some, uh, some story stuff, but okay. you guys weren't. So. No. Well, I mean, I couldn't hear because of the role I made. You also through. had no reason, like, yeah. Jeff Rue had no right. reason to be interested in Yeah, he the would have been like, uh-uh. The, no, no. <laughs> the only one here, I think, who would have re realized it was Visago. You. And yeah. Visago is the kind of guy who'd be like, that seems like the perfect description to go make money over here. Right. Well, also, Craig probably would have heard put things together because... Yeah. I'm assuming you guys have talked a little bit about your experiences yeah. in the Rumble Time Bind. I think we did a little bit. Well, yeah, we, we but... told the dwarves about yeah. what we saw. So, so he would, yeah. Craig, Craig would have been able to Craig figure it out. Found out but yeah. so, um, so next week, we will be getting back on We're Now Current. Yep. Um, and the timelines have converged, <laughs> and you guys have completed the Rattlebolt Cup. Um, I will no longer be playing a monk. You will no longer be playing a monk, um, and I will no longer be playing a character that's intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. so, we'll, where we'll pick up from Maybe that, hopefully, we'll yeah. have Xenos back, um, and you guys will begin exploring um, the uh, domain of Lord Woundines. Um He will ask that you take one of his um, watcher devices with you so that you, he can um, keep an eye on us not necessarily keep an eye on you but um, as he is very much into entertaining his viewers um, mm. your uh, exploits, on ex the ex exploits on the island are probably going to fall into entertainment um, yeah because if we die a horrible gruesome death that's good TV so I will warn you that the island is fairly sizable um, it is going to be somewhat of a hex crawl, so there will be a number of days that you're going to be exploring the island. Um, and I wanted to get your thoughts on where you think you might go after the island. Um, so mm. to recap, that's kinda, assuming we survive the island. Well, we I mean <laughs> I the hope the, that you do. So we were going to this island. And uh -huh. then there was another island that was a, that was close by. Yeah, so yeah, you, there was uh, farther. In, there was in uh, V Wook's notes, you found an island that was nearby <laughs> this one, uh, maybe two days sail from this one, um, that was also circled. Um, that one was noted that the Dwergar that was with V Wook had told him that there were um, there was rumors of treasure there. Um, so treasure. Treasure. Mm -hmm. So are you guys going to continue to that island? Are you guys going to do something else? I think we you should have just a ship could, at this point. Yeah, yeah, I mean we've got but we uh, also need to have something to show for this adventure. So yeah. we're yeah, just more jaunt. treasure sounds good. Yeah. More uh, treasure. It helps uh -huh. boost Xenos as being a mm -hmm. treasury guy. Okay. Um a capable captain. So we gotta we gotta bluff the crew in that regard. <laughs> and finally, Zako is back on the ship to help with that, mm -hmm. otherwise known as the guy who's bluffed pirate crews most of his life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, that's <laughs> like every every time I like catch the end of a session, I'm like, ah, yeah, if only I was, uh, so many checks <laughs> that could have been made. Uh, <laughs> so, um, okay. Cool. Yeah. And then uh, I know Vizago would be interested in coming back. Because he does, he does want to at least find out what happened to Thaven. Uh, try to save him, but, you know. Okay. I figured you guys would make your way to the Pirate yeah. Lord's Island. And, um, you know, but he doesn't know about, I don't think he ever found out about Archon, Archon being there. So, uh, well, unless it gets didn't brought have up. A conversation with Jeffrey about yeah, it. Yeah, you guys yeah. didn't have the conversation with Jeffrey. Um, so, one of the things that you would, you would know yeah, about exactly. Emmerich's Hold is it does have a shipyard. Mm -hmm. um, which your we need the Tempest Temptress the is not in ship shape. In ship yeah. shape, so you could spend. Speaking of ship, yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, you could spend a few days mm -hmm. uh, on Amherst Hold just repairing your ship. Yeah. So. so that might be the excuse for him to go check up on him. 
Okay. Is Jeffrey going to make an appearance again? I mean, he survived. I know where he is. Um, and we'll see if you guys go to where he is. Because he's, he's wealthier now. He's, he's yeah. actually got a decent amount of cash. <laughs> um, and that fighting pit is so disappointed right now. Because someone came in, beat their current champion, and, and then the left. night after <laughs> disappeared. disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, so um, I'm excited. I, yeah. I had had this planned for like a month. Like yeah. the the heist part of this, so the fact that we we accomplished it is yeah. awesome. Um, so, yeah, cool, cool. Uh, well, I think we're gonna break a little early, everyone. Um, thanks for joining us. Um, we appreciate it, and we will see you back here next week. Bye. One last thing. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I meant to do this at the top of the show, uh, but thanks to Method Man, our amazing uh, viewer and painter extraordinaire, for his uh, miniatures who got sent to us. This is officially our first fan art, and it's awesome. So we have a bear um, with the, the Chicago Bears colors um, and an eagle with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles colors, boo, um, who are painted for our druid. And if he makes it back to the party, I'm sure he will appreciate them. Um, he's going to appreciate the eagle either way, but the bear is mine. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Take care.